From Sudan, we move to Uganda now. Earlier this week, Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni marked his 80th birthday. The milestone event was marked with prayers and celebrations on his nearly 40 years of rule. On his birthday, the now octogenarian president promised free education in all government primary and secondary schools. While celebrations continued across Uganda, the parliament in the capital Kampala witnessed a heated debate over the country's future leadership. At the center of this debate was President Museveni's age. Some lawmakers expressed concerns over his age and fitness to lead. Opposition MP Ibrahim Semuju called for the president to undergo regular mental and physical tests to ensure that he remains fit to lead the country. He said the president keeps making erratic decisions. Now, the lawmaker also pointed to international precedents, particularly the United States. He said there was a need for Uganda to emulate the Democratic Party in the U.S., which asked President Biden to not contest the 2024 election on account of old age. To be a president, the Constitution says you must be mentally and physically fit. In America, the President Joe Biden was actually asked not to participate in elections on account of his age, 79. When you have an eight-year-old president who keeps making erratic decisions, Mr. Speaker, I want to implore this parliament that we subject our president to now that he's 80, the periodical mental and physical test because that's what that's the requirement of the constitution you can see her uh, but the constitution says so because the makers of this constitution had actually put an article that at 75 you can't be a president i, I was not in the ca and the president himself you know before he came here i was a journalist when we interviewed him he said that 75 you are tired Someone who doesn't even remember that there is no governor for the central bank. We need, and, and I'm just uh, being this in good faith, even for his health. The proposal ignited a fierce debate in Parliament. The ruling NRM Vice President and Ugandan Minister Chris Bariomunsi defended the president, saying that he may have chronologically aged, but he is biologically young. Another MP, John Baptist Loki, stood up to the defense of the President Museveni. He said the President had not shown any signs of failing his duties, so his capability should not be doubted. He called the proposal an unnecessary attack on the elderly. From a medical standpoint, we have two types of aging. There is what we call chronological aging, which is a measure of a number of years and what we call physiological aging, whereby you have seen the people who are 60, but they are finished. So they are chronologically young, but biologically aged. And the, I want to speak as a medical professional that President Yoweri Museveni may have chronologically clocked 80 years, but he is biologically young. And uh, yes, and uh, the spirit, the spirit and letter of the constitution is that it is the voters, if he presents himself or any other aged person, it is up to the voters to assess whether you are energetic to lead them or not. He is trying to insinuate that an elderly person at 80 years cannot steer this country, cannot reason. Now, right honorable speaker, if America is saying people at 80 should be subjected to other medical tests, but our president has not shown any sign of failing. He has not shown any sign of failing to, to discharge his duties. So, is there a, is, is Honorable Semuju in order to insinuate that our president, who is experienced to lead this country, 
You see, in order to insulate that our president cannot lead this country. Thank you. The Deputy Press Secretary to the President, Farouk Garinda, has now challenged the opposition MP, Ibrahim Simuju, to a fitness challenge with President Museveni. The government says the opposition is using Museveni's age for political propaganda after they failed to prevent the lifting of the age limit from the Constitution. In 2017, after debates and brawls inside the parliament, Uganda amended its constitution to lift an age limit of 75 years for those vying for presidency. Long-standing president Yoweri Museveni was 73 years old then. He has been in power since 1986 and democratically elected president as 1996. In 2005, a previous two-term limit was also scrapped to allow Museveni to stand for a third term. Opposition MP Ibrahim Simuju also drew comparisons to Zimbabwe, where when former President Robert Mugabe started aging, his wife began to exert significant influence over national decisions. He also raised concerns over the growing power of Ugandan President Museveni's son, who was promoted to become the country's army chief. The Ugandan opposition said that these were signs of an emerging dynastic succession. The debate over President Yoweri Museveni's age is part of a larger concern over the need for a transition of power in Uganda. Though the Museveni government shows no signs of giving up power, some lawmakers and citizens feel that his time in office may be nearing an end. I'm not